Sour Diesel is a little bit different from New York City Diesel. It's not quite as good a quality, I don't believe, and it's it's the the origins that I'm not quite as sure of. Um, I've seen a few different strains called that, but it's got a good up buzz, and I really think it's important for people like to have Sour Diesel that's like looking for like MS, nausea. There's a class of patients out there. They don't want to get floored higher. They don't want to get gorded. And so sire diesel is very important for those people. The TAC ratios from New York City diesel to sire diesel is like probably I'd say about 25 to 30% different. But the, 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 the sire diesel yields a lot better and is a lot easier to grow. So there's a trade-off there. It's been hybridized for. Sour diesel can run anywhere from 70 days to 90 days. It depends on how, what's one of the ones it is. There's several different versions of it. Uh, the average height of sour diesel is from three to, let's see, the biggest one I've seen has been about seven foot. Sire diesel yields from two to probably eight ounces, depending on how much indica is in it. Uh, pros of sire diesel is easy to grow. Um, it could also be a very beneficial cannabinoid ratio to your body. Cons. It's not the stablest strain, and you gotta watch out for chicks with dicks. Sire diesel is very similar to a whole bunch of generic sativa strains.